today, if you're ready, you're going to be printing. To be ready to print, you have to have your linoleum block with all of the black carved away. When you're printing, you need to make some color choices. Your prints have to show some kind of color theory. So if I'm going to use green ink, I can use blue and purple with it and go with all cool colors. I could do red with it and do a series of complementary colors. Or I could use orange and purple with green to do secondary colors. Squeeze about a quarter worth of ink onto the bench hook. The bench hook hooks onto the table so it doesn't slide while you're working. This is called a brayer. Use the brayer to stretch the ink. Go up and down and side to side. It's not about covering the bench hook. It's about getting a nice even amount of ink on the brayer. So you want to alternate between rolling it up and down and rolling it side to side. When you hear the ink being sticky, that means it's ready. Lay your printing block flat on the table and roll your brayer onto it, up and down, and side to side. Then you'll take your paper, again lay it flat on the table, flip your printing block over, and gently lay it down. Try not to let the printing block move while you're printing. To do this, you want to apply nice, even pressure and make sure you get all the corners. If you hit it, it could slide the block. And then you peel and reveal. If you want to use the same color ink, you just roll the brayer back on again. If you want to change color ink, you may need to wash your block in the sink. All you need to do is rinse it with water to get any extra ink off. The reason I say you may need to wash it is because if you're using yellow and you want to switch to orange, you don't really have to wash it. If you're using orange, you want to switch to red, you don't have to wash it. But if you're switching from purple to yellow, you should definitely wash it. You need to make six prints. It's okay if one of them doesn't turn out so good because we're only going to use three for our project. So you have three mess ups before you need to worry. 